on the half of online lecture series of composite materials today we have discuss on the topic metal metals composite in which our syllabus topic is in situ fabrications of mmc lastly we are familiar with polymers matrix and then introduction to polymers matrix then classification of all the composite materials topic covered in situ fabrications of metal matrix composites measurement of interface properties first is the in situ fabrication of metal matrix composite in the situ fabrications of metal matrix composite is a process in which dispersed or the reinforcing phase is formed in the matrix as a result of precipitation from the melt during its cooling and solidification different types of metal matrix composites may be prepared by in situ fabrications method there are different types of the metal matrix composites may be prepared by in situ fabrication method first is particulate in situ metal matrix composites means particulate composite reinforced by in situ synthesized dispersed phase in form of particles there are examples of this aluminum matrix reinforced by titanium boride tib2 particles then magnesium matrix reinforced by mg2si particles second one is a short fibers reinforced in situ mmc then short fiber composite reinforced by in situ synthesized dispersed phase in form of short fiber or viscous into packet single crystal grown in the form of short fiber the examples of such are first is a titanium matrix reinforced by titanium boride tib2 viscous then aluminum matrix reinforced by titanium alumide tiall2 al2 al3 sorry viscous then third one is long fiber reinforced in situ metal matrix composites long fiber composites reinforced by in situ synthesized dispersed phase in the form of continuous fiber the examples of this long fiber is nickel aluminum matrix reinforced by long continuous fibers of m means nil 9 mo alloys this dispersed phase of the situ fabricated metal matrix composites may consist of intermetallic compounds carbides borides oxide one of eutectic integrated integrated now turn to next which is advantages of situ matri- metal matrix composites first is a in situ synthesized particles and fibers are small than those in material in separate fabrications of dispersed phase which is <coughs> example is situ mmcs then fine particles provide better strengthening effect second one is a in situ fabrication provides more homogeneous distributions of the dispersed phase particles then bonding addition between the particles of in situ formed dispersed phase and uh, matrix is better than in ex situ mmcs equipment and technologies for in situ fabrications of mmcs are less expensive now there are also disadvantages first one is the choice of the dispersed phase is limited by thermodynamic ability of the precipitations in a particular matrix second one is the size of dispersed phase particles is determined by solidification conditions next one is the unidirectional solidifications of a eutectic alloy means alloy of eutectic composite compositions may result in formulations of eutectic structure in which one of the component has a form of long continuous filaments then next one is a scheme of device for unidirectional solidifications in situ metal matrix composites 
which are shown in the figure. See in the figure, in this figure, initial alloy in the solid state, then in the downward direction, which is unidirectional solidified MMCs are created. In between these two, which is the molten alloy, statistic industrial coil are arranged in the outside of this. Then a direction of crucible moment, how the moment is taken, this show in the figure. Next one is the crucible with eutectic alloy moves downward or alternatively the induction coil moves upward. This moment result in remelting followed by the solidifications of the alloy under control cooling conditions. Then values of heat transfer through the crucible bottom together with the crucible speed and the power of heating elements induction coil determine particular temperature gradient which provide unidirectional solidifications with flat solidifications present. Next one is that the alloy acquires eutectic structure directed along the solidification direction within eutectic components in the form of long monocrystal fibers. Then next is the, our major inter, interface in the means or measurement of interface properties. This in the measurement purpose interface plays a significant or important role of the physical or mechanical properties of the composites. The physical properties include coefficient of thermal expansion, thermal conductivity and damping. Next one is the coefficient of thermal expansion is an important criteria for the designing of dimensionally stable com composites. Next one is the interfaces with reaction products or precipitations are likely to act as stronger barrier to heat conductivity than cleaner ones. Even if there are no reaction products at the interface and the matrix size, particle size and shapes are the same, the yield strain modulus and tensile ductility vary, vary with the based on the nature of the chemical bond. The resultant of the interface of cracking even high strain in the surrounding matrix is also essential for a significant role in the load transfer. A brittle interface are also provided for the long transfer. Then processing of variables can be manipulated to enhance the wetting between matrix and reinforcement like addition of alloy elements, pre-treatment or co coating of reinforcement increase the increase of temperature of molten metal. Hard pressing or blended metal and ceramic powder above solidus temperature etc. Aging of matrix with high solid solubility also affect the interface structure and chemistry. Then some factors also are responsible for enhancement of the interfacial bonding in metal ceramic system, which are first one is the presence of densely packed pack, uh, planes parallel to interface in the either or both reinforcement and metal matrix. Second one is the presence of charged defects close to interface. Then sub storage geometric composites of the reinforcement and last one is a lower heat of forming of reinforcement. This variety of reinforcement the ones having metallic characteristics forms metallic bond with the metal matrix. In such cases matrix reinforcement interfacial bonding is stronger than the metal ceramic composites and this leads to a greater improvement in Young's modulus yield and ultimate tensile strength values over those of the matrix materials. Then tensile ductility is also impressed in case of metallic bonding at interfaces as they can withstand higher strength.
Hence, the modifications are enhanced for the metallic characteristics of the bond because of the critical role played by interface in the composites. It is necessary to play the choice of matrix and reinforcement and processing the conditions. Thank you.